I'm asked lots of times by parents whether they should or shouldn't use a dummy for sleep and if to get good sleep do they have to drop the dummy or can they keep it. I am pretty ambivalent where dummy use is concerned and I think that as parents we need to make that decision for ourselves. But I will tell you some information about the dummy from my own experiences within my practice. I think that using a dummy once feeding has been established in the early weeks is actually quite a useful tool to help invoke the calming reflex from your new baby and to help have develop other ways other than feeding to calm and soothe your baby. However, I am mindful that beyond about four to five months, the dummy becomes less of a soothing um, tool and more of a sleep prop, which means that if your baby sucks on the dummy to go to sleep, they may need the dummy to be replugged for them on numerous occasions throughout the course of the night. A more rested child will actually need less dummy runs. And if you subscribe to keeping a dummy and recommendations where SIDS are concerned, support the use of a dummy within the first year of life. But often if you're getting up and replacing that dummy 20, 25 times in the overnight period, it can seem quite challenging for a lot of parents. The first thing I would do is try to make a decision. Do you subscribe to keeping the dummy? And if you do, and you get your child well rested and they learn how to sleep well, you may still always have to do a dummy run here and there, especially within the first eight to nine months until your child developmentally gets the skill set of being able to source and find the dummy and put it into his own mouth in the overnight period. If, however, you feel that getting up and doing one or two dummy runs is actually punishing, then you would maybe have to decide to discontinue the use of the dummy. With your GP's consent, the best time to drop the dummy is typically at bedtime. And if you are deciding to drop a dummy and you've been using one, then I'd maybe recommend that you introduce a security item as a replacement and that in tandem with the security item, you may feel that you need to provide your child with extra reassurance, comforting and soothing so that as they get used to not using the dummy. In my experience, it takes two to three days for a child to get used to not using a dummy for sleep, but you may also still continue to use the dummy for non-sleep time, like in the car or in the trolley in Tesco's. Sometimes parents decide to get rid of the dummy and they follow all of my advice and guidelines but they actually find it too challenging. The child is very attached to the dummy. And I suppose as parents, we do need to pick our battles. Beyond the age of nine months to 12 months, I do feel that if you've kept the dummy beyond that point, you may well be stuck with it until closer to the age of two, two and a half, where you can reason with your child and maybe replace the dummy with something else. Um, so I th would encourage parents beyond the first few months of life to consider very carefully the use of the dummy and how, you may, how it fits in with your own parenting style.